Hello student, today we discuss about the periodic classification of elements chapter, uh, period number first. Okay, uh, so uh, before starting our lecture, if you like my video, then please uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel. My channel name is Sharda Sulose. So in this chapter, we learn about the uh, different methods of classification of elements. So we know that basically what is the element? Okay, so element it is the fundamental constituent of matter or the uh, fundamental part of the matter it is called as the elements means suppose we have to take the uh, means basic fundamental means a basic part okay suppose we take one example like the sodium Na when we taking the any part of the sodium it is having the elements it is consist of the number of elements okay so in previous standard we already already learn about the elements atoms okay uh, then nuclear what is the nucleus what is the nuclei what is the atom so atom nothing but the atoms what is the atom the smallest particle of matter it is called as the atom and the element it is also the fundamental particle of matter okay means uh, actually it's not particle the fundamental the composition or fundamental part of the matter it is called as the elements in an element the number of uh, atoms are present and all the elements are only one type of element suppose we take a one example like potassium when we taking uh, any part any atoms of the um, any part of the potassium in that part the number of atoms are involved and they all the atoms uh, con con contains in the potassium having a only one type means all are the only sodium only potassium atoms are present in the in the potassium element so this is the basic but we know that in the periodic table nowadays there are 118 elements we see in the periodic table but before uh, 118 uh, sorry 1800 years before that only 30 elements are known to uh, known to the uh, scientists and also known to us so that time they are classified in a particular manner but now, after that a number of elements are discovered day by day and all they having a different properties they are not uh, like to the previous 30 elements they show the different property and uh, uh, it depends on that different property the elements are classified uh, means the new and method uh, new and new methods of classification are uh, improved and today's lecture we see about the different and different methods of classification of elements that are discovered by the different scientists so today's lecture we see about the Doberaner trials Doberaner trials it is also one method to classify classify the elements in a particular manner okay so today we see about what exactly and which phenomena and which postulates are given by the uh, Doberaners and how they uh, means how they prove the elements they are present in the elements and uh, how they are making the group of elements according to that so today we see about the Doberaner okay. trials so I already told to us and so already told to you there are nowadays 118 elements are present in the periodic table they are also well uh, classified uh, depends on their property but previous uh, pre means previous uh, at that time or uh, at the year of 1800 uh, years there is not having a uh, means uh, modern periodic table is not there they classified using a different and different method the first method is the dober in the year of 1870 uh, in the year of 1870, a German scientist Doberaner tried give some postulates or uh, given by some postulates related to the uh, elements and according to that they uh, give some uh, show some properties in the element. The first postulates given by the uh, Doberaner triads is the means the property of an element is directly related to their atomic mass number we know that in atoms we learn about the atomic number and atomic mass number so atomic number means the number of electrons and number of electrons or protons present in an atom it is called its atomic number suppose we take one example like the sodium what is the atomic number of sodium is 11 
एटॉमिक नंबर इज इलेवन वाई इट इज इलेवन बिकॉज इन द ऑर्बिट ऑफ द सोडियम देर आर प्रेजेंट इलेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड इलेवन और इलेवन प्रोटॉन्स इन द न्यूक्लियस प्रेजेंट इन एंड इन सोडियम सोडियम एटम हेन्स द एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ सोडियम इज इलेवन एंड एटॉमिक मास नंबर ऑफ सोडियम इज ट्वेंटी थ्री वाई इट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री वी नो दैट बेसिकली एटॉमिक मास नंबर मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स इट इज द समेशन और एडिशन ऑफ नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन एन एटम इट इज कॉल्ड एज द एटॉमिक मास नंबर सो वी नो दैट डियर दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके इलेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट इट इज द निगेटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड प्रोटॉन इट इज द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल बोथ आर सेम so here how many electrons are present also 11 okay and how many mm, neutrons are present 12 so 11 plus 12 is equal to 23 and it is nothing but the atomic mass number of the sodium similarly in uh, at that time the there are there are only few elements are uh, discovered at that time and hence their atomic mass number is also discovered at that time what is the atomic number atomic mass number so doberan doberan gives the first postulate is that the uh, property of an element is directly related or it is related to their atomic mass number it is the first postulate of doberan and trards the property of an element property of an element element is related to element related to to their atomic mass number atomic mass number it is the first postulates of doberano trans then next postulate is he arranged means so the rainer arranges uh, the uh, the elements in the periodic table or uh, there are uh, the elements atomic number in increasing order okay means triads triad means the group of three elements it is called as the triads so to be rainer make a group of three three elements different and different three three elements arranged in a particular manner if the one property is that of base increasing in their atomic mass number means we first postulate the property of an element is directly related to their atomic mass number second postulate is there they are uh, he arrange the elements in such a manner that this is the order of their atomic mass number is increasing in order this is the second and third is the means arrange arrange elements in their increasing atomic mass number atomic mass number this is the second postulate and third postulate when he arranged the three group of three elements in increasing in their atomic mass number that time the atomic mass number of the middle element is the mean of atomic mass number of other two elements it is the third postulate the atomic mass number it is very very important the atomic mass number of middle element of middle element mean is mean of mean of atomic mean of atomic mass number of other two elements of other element okay we know that mean we already learned in learning mathematics how to calculate the mean okay so first postulate the property of an element is related to their atomic mass number second is he arranged the elements in such a manner that their atomic mass number is increasing in order and the third the atomic mass number of middle element uh, in uh, element is the mean of atomic mass number of other two elements means how to go, uh, how to show that the these and these three elements are the applying the doberan triads why they apply why they are obeying the rule of uh, doberan triads Say the atomic mass of the middle uh, element is directly related to the, or it is, it is equal to approximately equal, not 
it is the middle element is approximately element is is approximately not exactly it is the approximately this word is very very important approximately the mean of atomic mass number of other two elements okay approximately means it is not exactly equal it is approximately or near to this value okay so it is the approximately so it is the third postulate we see the examples of dobereiner triads the first example of dobereiner triads is sodium sorry lithium sodium and potassium we know that the atomic mass number of lithium is 7 atomic mass number of sodium is 23 and atomic mass number of potassium is 39 okay so he arranged this is the dobereiner example of dobereiner triad he this example obey this all the properties the first property property of an all the postulates property of an element is related to their atomic mass number this is the atomic mass number uh, when the previously when the discovery of uh, of different and different element is found that time how to classify that different and different element according to their property this is the major question in front of all the scientists that time number of scientists doing a, uh, or uh, discovered a, a lot of methods but this is applicable for some elements not all but some elements hence it is given in our syllabus the banana trees okay. see property of an element is directly related to their atomic mass number when we will think about the dober dober and triads that time we only think about their atomic mass number not about their atomic number we think about their atomic mass number this is the first thing second arrange the elements in their increasing order suppose sometimes the so sodium is given firstly sometimes sodium is given firstly then lithium is given and then potassium that time you arrange these elements in their increasing uh, order suppose if we calculate the mean of these other two elements that time it is not got exactly the lithium atomic mass number okay so it is the wrong so that time you arrange the elements in their increasing atomic mass number so firstly you arrange the lithium because the atomic mass number of lithium is 7 after that the sodium atomic mass number of sodium is 23 and after that the potassium because atomic mass number of sodium is 39 we arrange the elements in increasing in their atomic mass number and third the atomic mass number of middle element the atomic mass number of we can calculate the atomic mass number of this middle element if you know the atomic mass number of lowest element and atomic mass number of the highest element that can calculate the atomic mass number of middle element how to calculate it is the mean of atomic mass number of other two elements so the atomic mass number of sodium is equal to the atomic mass number of lithium that is the same plus the atomic mass number of potassium is 39 divided by 2 calculate this what is this 16 46 divided by 2 is equal to the 23 and 23 it is nothing but the atomic mass number of the sodium and hence the lithium sodium and potassium it is the example of dobereiner triads okay then we see about the next one example another example that is second example is chlorine bromine iodine here the atomic mass number number of the chlorine is 35.5 the atomic mass number of the bromine is uh, 79.9 and atomic mass number of the iodine is 126.9 so it is the atomic mass number of the iodine so this is also the example of dobereiner triad why it is the example when this all the elements show shows the property related to their atomic mass number we said firstly take on the their increasing order of their atomic mass number 35 after that 79 and after that 126 is coming so the third postulate of dobereiner triads is the atomic mass number of middle element that is the atomic mass number of bromium uh, is approximately equal to the atomic mass number of chlorine that is 35.5 plus atomic mass number of iodine that is 126.9 divided by 2 then what exactly answer you got that is the 4 4 then carry 1 12 1 6 1 divided by 
that is the 81.2 and this is approximately equal to the 79.9 means 80 it is approximately equal to the 80 and it is this this example it is also obey the law of Doberanets and it is also becomes a Doberanet triads. Triads means the group of three elements it is called as triads. Okay, what is it is all about the Doberanet triads. This is the one method of the classification of periodic table. Okay, in 1870 a German scientist suggested that the property of an element is related to their atomic mass number he arranged the uh, arranged the element in a particular manner that is the increasing in their atomic mass number and give one postulate or the next postulate is that the atomic mass number of middle element is approximately equal to the mean of atomic mass number of other three element sorry other two elements it is a third postulate that time this law this doberanian triads law is only applicable for few elements not to the all elements Hint is this law is also fails. And again the new scientists discover their own method of periodic classification of uh, elements. That is the new method is Newland's laws of octaves. We see this Newland's laws of octaves in next period. So today we only see about the Doberaner triads. All of you got this Doberaner triads methods. Okay. So you see that video, uh, you see this video and take more and more, infor more and more information about the periodic classification of elements. So today we stop here. Thank you.